Welcome to video number two in the restoration of the convertible top of the Ford Mustang. In actuality, it's really easy to restore your uh, top to at least a, a good color and uh, get it sealed. And this happens to be the product that I use. Uh, it actually came with the car when I purchased it, uh, but you can get it on Amazon. So check the link down below and uh, you can purchase it right off of Amazon. Just watch the prices because sometimes they jack them up a little bit too much and uh, you wanna be careful. But really, you just need three things uh, in terms of the liquids. Uh, first of all, you need something to clean your canvas. Uh, really any good cleaner will do and uh, if I can find it uh, what I like to use is a nice soft camel hair uh, brush and that way you can just scrub it out and get it nice and clean uh, there's a lot of impurities dust and crap like that that gets into the uh, the pores and you want to get them out as best as possible uh, you can go a little bit harder than that but don't go too stiff on the bristles uh, so that's your canvas cleaner. Next is basically your dye. This is the Canvas Restore, and uh, it's, it's a dye. Uh, my top happens to be black. I find that to be the easiest top to care for uh, versus the white top. Uh, but this does come in other colors. Uh, so if you have something other than black, then you would be getting that. Uh, then the final would be your Canvas Waterproofer. And uh, this is just a clear liquid that goes on after these first two steps. And uh, the other things that I use, of course, uh, I do use a little bucket there. Oh, it's from Cape Henry. Uh, and, oh, it's got a crack in it. I need a new bucket. Uh, I pour a little bit of the canvas restorer in, and then I'll use my brush to, uh, to put it on. Now, one of the things that you do have to take note of is the time in between each of the steps. Uh, really allow about two hours or so between each of the steps to make sure that the top is thoroughly dry. Uh, that way you'll get the best finish. Now, this is generally the brush that I use. Again, it's kind of a medium uh, bristle. It's not quite as soft as this, but uh, it's it works real well. I find that the sponges yeah, they tend to foam things up a little bit too much, um, where this goes on much nicer. This is a, a what, about a three, four inch uh, brush, and that gives you really good coverage. So basically, put whatever product you've got in, dip it, and paint it. Uh, it's, it's straightforward. Now, you'll notice that I've got a couple small brushes here. Uh, these are for the, uh, the edges uh, and things like that. But generally, one of the things that you want to make sure that you do is mask off all the areas to your chrome and to your paint and to your windows because this stuff can get really nasty and stain. Now, what I'm going to do, we're going to head over to the side of the uh, car that we worked on in video number one, and that is the... Uh, the repaired section. What I want to do first is I want to restore as close as possible the color uh, to where the top is right now. Then once I'm all done, then I'll do the entire top in this and then I'll complete it with the canvas restore. So onward over to the other side of the car and let's do a little bit of color. Okay, we're back at the uh, car and you can see some of the areas that I repaired uh, in the other video and what we're going to do is just uh, dye these areas and try and get it close to this. Now being that this is already sealed from a year ago there will be some slight differences but I want to build the color up so that it is very close to this so that when I do the entire top it comes out much more uniform. As you can see, what I've done is I've masked off areas. I've used uh, paper, uh, paper towels. Uh, if you've got newspapers or whatever, you, you definitely want to mask those areas off. Uh, when we do the entire top, we're going to be doing a lot more masking to protect the trim and the paint. So what we do is we take our uh, canvas restorer, we shake it up just a little bit, and I'm going to pour a little bit of it into my broken bucket. Um, actually, I think I poured a little bit too much in. Uh, 
So just a little bit in there. And it is actually, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. It's not thick at all. So we put it on and I'm going to dab it just a little bit. And you can see why you need to have good masking. So you can see it covers over the repair quite well. And I actually used a little bit too much. So I may not even have to go back in. And you can see how that's covering quite well. There we go. I'm going to take it to the edges and then we're going to let this dry and let me get this one here and man I used way too much I'll have to pour that back and hopefully when this dries and I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm feathering it a little bit so I'm trying to do almost the same thing as I did with the repair is make a smooth transition from the old paint or the old dye to the new dye and there you go so we're gonna let this dry for a couple hours and see how it looks in comparison to the older and then we'll come back and we're gonna wind up doing the entire top and we're back okay it's been a few hours and looking at this actually uh oh i made a boo-boo yeah that is not good it looks like some leaked out underneath the uh leaked under And we might luck out. Yeah, we lucked out. Wow. Okay, so we had some of the uh, dye leak underneath the tape, and I didn't, I didn't notice it. I lucked out that it didn't dry underneath, so I was able to smooth it out a little bit more. But looking at it overall you can definitely see where the repairs were all right but the color has matched pretty well in actuality looking at the condition of the color of my top uh, in comparison to where I just re-dyed uh, it is pretty even uh, so my top did not fade all that much over the last year so at this point what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to reseal this area here using the same technique that I did with the dye. I'm going to take a brush, I'm going to put a little bit of the sealant in the bucket and paint it and be done with it. Um, at this point I don't believe I have to do the whole top but it's it's not bad at all I think I'm very pleased with how the repair came out and yep here's the other one here and you can barely see it that is closed up so that was the other repair there and I'd say we're we're in pretty good shape here uh, get another year out of the top but if I wanted to show the car and restore it back to original of course I would get a, a whole new top but at $500 to $1,600, at this point, you know, the car's not worth a whole lot of money. I'm not going to get that money out of the top. So I'm definitely going to try and keep this as best as I can uh, before investing more money in that I'm not going to ever get out of the car. So one of the things I'd like to do now that uh, this is all dry is um, actually got the wrong one. Wait a sec, not Canvas Restore. That was what I just put down. 
Uh, here is the canvas waterproofer, and I'm going to take a little bit of that and pour it into the bucket in a moment. But the one thing that I know that I need to do is put down a little bit of protection here. from them drips and drops. And let's just put that there. Hopefully I won't be too messy on this, but we're gonna follow the same process as, as before. And we're gonna grab the little bucket, the brush. Uh, so we'll shake that up a little bit. And I don't need a whole lot, so I'm just gonna put, oop. <laughs> About that much, just a little drop in there. And as you can see, it's in the bottom. And let's waterproof this sucker. So as you can see, this is gonna run a lot because a lot of this has already been waterproofed. And being that it's only been a year and the car has been in the garage most of the time, the old waterproofing works pretty well so really where it needs to be is just where I applied the repairs and I don't need any more than that uh, I'm gonna touch it up here and that's it now as you can see there's a lot of drips and drops so you're gonna have to keep smoothing this out and I'm gonna go grab my other brush and that's getting underneath there <clears throat> and I'm gonna keep moving this until it stops running and this is the same thing that you're gonna do on the main body of your canvas if you're doing the entire top. So let me get underneath that. And I think we're in pretty good shape here. But really what you could do is take a, um, a drop cloth and just put it underneath there, keep it stretched out, and you should be fine. And I'm just going to keep spreading this until and I'm, I'm using very little pressure here. Let's get that. And hopefully, when this dries, it should be pretty even. All right. I think we're good there. And you can see where it's wet in this area here and it'll all dry out but now we have the repaired section uh, over here 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 I think that was an old one uh, and somewhere here yep one little one right here so and you could mush it down a little bit more to smooth it in You get it in the nooks and crannies. I think we're good. And my other overhead light just went off. And there you go. We're going to let that dry. And probably I'm going to come back in about 10, 15 minutes. And I'm going to brush it out just a little bit more as it starts to dry. Just to smooth it out a little bit more. But that's how you seal the top. That's how you seal your repairs and uh, really a very simple process. And there you have it. I think we're gonna be good for this particular video. We're gonna move on to the next, which is going to be resealing the glass. As you can see, I actually have some issues right here. This has been resealed before uh, by, I believe the garage that the other people had used to uh, take care of the car. And uh, I've got a spot here where it 
came undone. I cleaned it out and I'm going to reseal it. But there's some other spots down right along there that don't look so good. So we're going to work on making that look a little bit better, reseal it, and uh, see what it looks like. So that's it for video number two. Uh, like, subscribe, and also down below are links to the different tools that I use uh, in the garage and on this particular project. So, hey, make it a great day.